Well, here in Rogers, they're estimating at least $33 million in damages just to city buildings. Now, it's still a disaster area across many parts of the city as businesses and residents work to salvage whatever they can. And tonight, everyone's waiting for the president to sign the National Disaster Declaration to allow federal help to come in. The Rogers mayor says it's critical for the cleanup efforts and for rebuilding. We have to have that declaration. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars. Numerous businesses along West Walnut Street are destroyed. Some were reduced to rubble by Sunday's tornadoes that hit Rogers. The Arkansas National Guard is helping direct traffic and more. We have 75 two-man teams that are uh, that have been assigned and embedded with uh, SWEPCO and Carroll Electric uh, to help keep traffic off of those linemen while they're trying to repair power. We're hopeful that that will help speed up uh, the restoration of power for the residents here. Today, Senator Tom Cotton saw the damage for himself and met with the mayor and Benton County judge. To make sure that the government in Washington is as responsive as our government uh, in Little Rock and the local officials have been as well to make sure that people who qualify for aid are going to get the aid they need. And I heard glass breaking, uh, trees falling, uh, silence. Uh, it was actually a bit surreal. And Gas leaks, uh, power lines down on both sides of our uh, street, but everyone was okay and that's all you can ask for in that situation. Roger Norman says Sunday storms were the worst he's ever gone through. So this tree just fell, uh, definitely hit everything that we have, my neighbors and his house. Um, it could have been a lot worse and as soon as you'd open the door, the trees were right there and they'd actually come in. So cut myself out of it and uh, a lot of work, but a, a lot to be done. In Benton County, the latest reports show 2,096 homes that were damaged and 45 that were destroyed. If your home was damaged, you're asked to report it online through the county's website. And if we already have all those properties preloaded, it's going to make that process go quicker as individuals deal with FEMA for relief. For now, Norman and thousands of residents are depending on plastic tarps to keep the rain and weather out of their homes. The relief crews have been amazing in coming around, getting electricity back up quicker than we can imagine, but also just making sure that everyone is protected from further damage. So a lot to be grateful for. And here in Rogers, the mayor hopes that almost all of the traffic signals are restored by the end of the day on a Friday. And of course, everyone's asked to stay safe out there with all the dangers that are still all around us here in Rogers and throughout Benton County. Live in Rogers, Brett Rains, 4029 News.